Hello, welcome to Tabletop Bellhop Live. I am O Tuzano, your Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight we are doing, today, today, this afternoon, whatever it is, I think it's afternoon here. <laughs> It's probably well afternoon. My stomach seems to think it's about lunchtime. Uh, I am going to unbox this rather large, rather heavy box. It came in the mail from Kickstarter. Well, not from Kickstarter, from whoever sent it. This is the Kickstarter version of Brass. A rather awesome game. I should have grabbed the original copy. It's over there. I could have showed off the original, kind of ugly version of Brass. There is a reason they remade this game. They put out a deluxe edition, made it look really good. Um, we're going to take a look at what's in this box. So we've got the bell, very important piece. And I have an X-Acto blade, otherwise, we're just gonna tear this thing down. Going on. Hopefully I blocked out my address on this everywhere. I think I did. If you do happen to see my address, you now know where to send your Christmas gifts to. All right, very boring start. We have two more boxes inside the box. It's like a uh, slime in Dungeon Quest. We have just doubled the amount of boxes we have. Oh, nice. Pretty. Wasted some money on the, the nice printing here, I'm thinking. That's the shiniest Kickstarter box I've ever seen. And Lancashire. So if I remember correctly, Brass Lancashire is the original game, redone up all deluxe, and Brass Birmingham is the new version with a new map and stuff. We are going to try to start with the original. So we're moving on to Brass Lancashire Deluxe Edition. Looking pretty. So I've got it upside down. You can see the shininess here. So here we have the awesome new looking, the awesome looking new Brash Lancashire box from Mr. Martin Wallace, published by Roxley Games. Very minimalist art style. I dig it. Thank you. It's numbered. That's kind of cool. I have number 20,000. Or no, out of 20,000. I have number 7,883. Now we'll move over to Birmingham. And the much brighter for us Birmingham so here we have brass Birmingham nice cobblestone street and an upside down woman for some reason <laughs> and again very minimalist back Birmingham's the new one so Birmingham is the new one confirmed so we are gonna put Birmingham off to the side for now and we're going to move on to Lancashire. Open this one up. Now here I really don't want to damage the box. What's interesting to note is that as it comes, the box does not seal. I'm assuming that's probably going to mean once we take everything out that it seals up perfectly. But I don't know. we go brass Lancashire we have nice looking rule book really nice looking rule book <clears throat> man I really should grab before we end this I am gonna grab my old copy of brass and show you the differences here Sorry, I needed some water. Voice was cracking. 
All right, we have the two-sided map. Which again, holy cow, compared to the old edition. Are we all on camera here? Okay. And the other side, as Mo splits his map, first time he opens it. Again, compared to the original, this looks amazing. And we have cardboard. Since we're doing this live, we'll open everything, show you what you get. Useless piece of cardboard. And player pieces in all the colors. So we have purple pieces, nice two-sided, seem nice and thick. Reds pieces, yellows, grays, and then the ship tiles and the locomotive tile, which, you know what, it's been a little while since I played it. Obviously everything punches easy enough since it's fallen out as I open this. Always the lone tiles, as well as the shipping tiles. Then we have player boards. Very nice, thick player boards. This is something that was lacking in the original edition. The original version of brass had you just lay everything in front of you. Come on. There we go. Alright, player boards. Rather dark. Not too hard to see though. The coal here is a little dark, but still way nicer than the original had. Not color coded, so I guess anyone gets any board. And we're moving on. You can show off really nice uh, vacuums, vacuum molded, plastic molded insert. Again, some really nice looking stuff. We have something that I know everyone's going to want to see here. Extra baggies, big bonus. Thank you, Roxley. We have cards. This is a card driven game. Multi use cards because you need cards for which cities you're going to build in and what actions you take. So we will show some of these off. Nice color coded, fantastic looking art. Everything's a very dark though. In this basement, there's something I didn't do. I didn't adjust the temperature of the lights before we started this. Oh, summary cards. Always love summary cards. So we have cards. I'm just going to put back in. It's one of those cool inserts where if you push on the cards, they tip up. I always like that. We have wooden bits. I'm not going to bother opening these here, but I'll hold them all out. Resource cubes. Looks very Halloween. And then what I know a lot of people are waiting to see, holy cow, we need to scale to show these off. Okay, I'm gonna see how close I can get to the webcam to show these off. These might've been worth the Kickstarter backing on its own. For one, nice words, iron clay. Wow, these are nice. Let's see if you can hold those up. Try to show the ends where you can actually see where they show the, the money, the denomination. What I'll do is I'll open a couple of these up. Very nice. Very impressed here. Don't want to scratch them. Though I don't know how easy that would be to be to do. So these have some weight to them. I don't know if you can hear this. Like these are nice clay chips. Maybe you can show one of those off to the camera. Very impressed. I think these are going to stay out of the box so I can use them in my other games. Nothing on them says brass. These are just nice, solid, generic use poker chips. Very impressed. And I'm dropping them everywhere. So here's a 20. And I am going to stop at this point. 
can unbox the rest of these when no one's watching. Put these back in their case. Looks like everything's going to fit nice back into the box, which is awesome. Iron clays fit nice and tight. Nice lid for them. Put those is back the in the box. Is the box plastic? Is it solid? This here is solid plastic, nice and thick. I can kind of show how thick it is there. Nice plastic tray. This is just your typical plastic vacuum foam. Is it smooth or textured? This, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it actually says iron clays on the top of it. The chips themselves, um, you can see the pattern. You can feel it a little bit, but barely. There is a divot where the number is. But like there is a pattern on here that is slightly raised. But barely, it's actually on this 20, I can't even feel it. Whereas on this five, I can. Extremely impressed by these. I knew that was going to be one of the highlights. So now we're going to toss everything back. Going to figure out where it all came from. Player boards? No. Unfortunately, it's supposed to be punched before I put everything back. I am not doing an unpunching Stop. video. Ship. Oh, that's fine. So at this point, the box is not going to close properly because no one wants to sit and watch me punch this. So if you do, let me know, and maybe I'll do an unpunching video. People might be into that. Now, I don't know how different Birmingham's going to be, but we'll open that up next. Just let me grab a bit of water. Man, that's a pretty looking game. So, moving on to Brass Birmingham. The new edition. Not just an update of the old one. Yeah, after my Mackie stack unboxing, I learned to bring the X-Acto knife downstairs when you go to do unboxing. So, Brass Birmingham. Again, some nice gold leaf on there. Very fancy. I noticed there's more than one name on this box, so it's not just Wallace. I'm guessing it's going to look fairly similar. So we have player pieces. Oh, they look about the same. A little different. Piece of cardboard. Nice protection. Uh, again, I'll cut this open. I don't see why not. Okay, I'm guessing you have similar pieces to the last one. We're going to get these in all the different player colors. Shrink wrap out of the way. So we have purples playing pieces, red and shorns playing pieces, yellow playing pieces, and gray. We have a rather nice looking rule book again. It's very similar to the other one. And that's a nice looking board. I see chits for money in here. I'm assuming those have been replaced by the iron clays. The game board, which is interestingly not quite square. I have never seen that before. If you look, it overlaps a bit here. The four panels are not the same size. Again, very beautiful board, especially compared to the original game. And again, two-sided. The Black Country. And on this side, they both say Black Country. Okay, one's like night and day. Haven't read the rules. Couldn't tell you exactly the differences. Again, we have some very significantly sized thickness player boards. Didn't drop these ones. It's very nice looking player boards. Again, with a light and a dark side. Not sure what the differences are there. Probably number of players, but maybe something else. Extra baggies, which I actually forgot to put in the other game. Another full set of iron clays. 
I actually didn't realize I was getting two sets. I thought it would be one set for both games. Very cool. Very similar components. Brown player pieces, hexagonal player pieces, resources, and very awesome looking little wooden barrels. I don't know how well you can see those. But those are very cool. I want to steal those and use those for Gloomhaven and D&D. Another set of playing cards. Not playing cards, but another set of cards for playing. We'll toss those open. Like last time, I'll flip through them quick. Something is making a terrible sound. What is doing that? We are flipping through the cards. I got them all upside down. Sorry about that. Whole bunch of city cards. And player handouts. So that is pretty much it. That is oh, a little bit more cardboard. Brass from Martin Wallace and yeah, more. They say audio bad. Well, yeah. Audio bad, audio bad. Squealing. Yeah, see, I don't know where that is coming from. We are hearing it too. We don't know what is making that sound. I'm sorry you can pick that up on the stream. We're going to rebox this. I am really hoping that sound is not going to show up on the Audacity file we're also making for this. See. So there we have Brass Birmingham.